Hello there, welcome to our first fast and easy tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be on painting red brick, really quick, really easy way of doing it. Um, this is the donut shop by uh, Corvus Gaming Train. And we did this on a live stream last week. And a couple of people asked if we could do basically a quick video on how to do the brickwork. So I've printed a couple of extra bits, more suitable for going on the live stream, uh, on the under the video. So what we have got is, it's just the end wall printed and no roof on it. So we've started off using Dragon Red, army, uh, the Army Painters um, matched primer. So it is two good coats. And it is slightly, slightly shiny, which is perfect for what we're going to do. Uh, I've quickly masked off where I would be doing the brown because uh, this part can get messy. So what we actually need is the Army Painters white matte or matte white, um, a little paint tray, and their new airbrush medium. Now this is a paint thinner and flow improver and what we found on the live stream which was just a bit of uh, luck was if we take the matte white and just about four or five drops and then mix it with the medium and a good I've half filled the um, the tray with medium and just keep adding paint and you'll see if you run it up the side it'll um, move back into the pot just keep mixing it in because the loads in the brush and basically what you've made is a wash um, a white wash now I did a load just adding another couple of drops I did a load of these buildings last year uh, and I used a, a specific wash and it was very expensive so what we did was just that now with it being an FDM printer there is uh, leaking and it does uh, disappear into the uh, into the gaps and probably inside and it does get messy hence the uh, the mat down if you do this first as well before you do any of the window frames and stuff like that because yep it is messy So you let all that soak in, any bits that look as though they're drying out, then let, let that dry. If you let it dry for a, a couple of minutes, um, and then just quickly, and I am doing this too soon, it might take some of the, um, this, uh, the infill, the, the cement away, but you just take a dry, a dry cloth, and quickly wipe across. And quite saves a little bit work later on. But there you go. You now let that dry off. And here's one I prepared earlier. So once it's dry, you can actually leave it like that if you want. But we went. Uh, a little step further I'll clear the white out of the way is the good thing with the army painters red paint uh, spray cans is it is 100% colour matched to their uh, paint droppers 
So, just a little bit on a cloth, and then just with a dry brush, you can bring the colour back as much or as little as you want. So you can have the bright red that it was. Or you can actually just patch and do it in patches. So when you look at it closer, you can actually see that this area here has really clear bricks and the red, and there's a better angle for you. So you've got a patch here that's still got the white mortar as if it's got salt on it or anything like that. And just clear my dry brush. What we actually did um, was I took a little bit of white and okay, to just get the right tone. There you go. So again with a dry brush just on that patch that you've mixed you could use a different um, red but if you just do downward strokes it gets the top of the brick and if you want a little bit more white now you can go one further step take each brick now you choose which two lines to do I normally do the left and the top so you can take each brick as you want and with it a white and red mix just so it's like slightly off white you can do a bit of an edge highlight down them and for the scenery that it's designed for, which is cartoony and stuff like that, it works perfect. Um, it is just uh, Marvel. And if you want to do every brick, you can just start edge highlighting two edges. It just gives it a bit of a, a bit more of a cartoony look. And this is just a scenery brush, so it's quite messy. As you can see, it starts to build up in the middle. And just go through all the bricks if you want. You can do as many, you don't have to do them all. You don't have to do both sides, you can just do one. You can do more infill. And then when you're finished, uh, you get basically a brickwork like that we haven't done the I, I did probably half a dozen you can see one uh, just bricks where we, we've done a slight um, a slight layer into it and then it finishes off once it all dries it does look very effective and it can be as quick as you want you can just do the red uh, dry brush just wash it down to the white red dry brush and you get this sort of effect 
which is quite quite spot on for the the carver's train there is a lot of the carver's train that has these the, this brickwork on it as you can see you can also go as heavy or as light with the uh, the drive uh, the wash as well if you add a bit more make it a bit of a thicker one obviously it looks more like the lines there so it's just a quick way to do the brickwork and we shall see you for the next one thank you for watching